When taking iPhone portraits with Apple's studio lighting effects, it's all too often the same old story. Unprofessional photo effects. They're all bad. But with just about $30 worth of household items, you can take much more professional and natural looking portraits. Hey Siri, make me professional. Good headshots matter, especially if you're applying for jobs now and trying to look the part. Or if you're just trying to impress somebody on the grams. So if you can't swing a professional photographer right now, you can just use your iPhone. Our iPhone cameras have gotten so good, and that's not just the pro models. You can take good photos with pretty much any recent iPhone. To take a photo like this, all you need are a few things from the hardware store. A special app that lets you shoot in RAW, which is a different image format, and some fairly common household items. So let's get started. Step one. Buy a quality light bulb. Head online or to your local hardware store and buy an LED bulb with a high CRI and R9 rating. You can find them at Home Depot, Lowe's, and even Amazon. The gist is, CRI is short for Color Rendering Index. It measures the light's ability to illuminate colors accurately. The bottom line, the higher a CRI and R9 rating, the better and more flattering the light will look on you and your skin. Chances are you don't have this kind of bulb at home, but if you want to check a bulb that you do have, try and find the original box. Some sort of rating should be printed on it, or you can just Google the model number. So what's this going to cost you? About 20 bucks for this high CRI LED bulb and about $10 for this clamp light. Step 2. Download a raw friendly app. Today we're going to be using Halide, which is available for $5.99 in the App Store. Halide gives you more manual controls than the iPhone's built-in camera app, like ISO and shutter speed. It can also capture images in standard formats, like JPEG or HEIC, but adds an important third, RAW. RAW also gives you tremendous power over your images after you've taken them. You can easily change colors or the white balance and recover dark shadows or bright highlights. Step 3. Set up your lighting. Believe it or not, you can accomplish a lot with just one light. And some curtains. First, find a space where you can black out all available light. A dark wall or fabric is great if you have one, but if not, just use any old wall, curtain, or fabric. The less reflective, the better. Second, find something you can affix the clamp light to, like a coat rack. Third, put your light at a 45 degree angle above and a 45 degree angle to the side of your subject. Now you're going to want to diffuse the light until any shadows across your face soften up. Without any diffusion, the shadows are way too harsh and unnatural. Let's add a piece of parchment paper to help soften it up a little. Ah, that looks a little better. Now let's add a white t-shirt. If you don't have anything to put the diffusion shirt on, you'll need another person to hold it. Sadly, cloning isn't possible. Ah, that looks much better. You can use pretty much any sheer white fabric to diffuse light. Sheets work really well too. Now either with the help of a friend or a tripod, open Halide and frame up your shot. If you don't have someone to help you take the photo, but you do have a tripod, why not have Siri lend a hand? Open the app's advanced settings and set up the Siri shortcut feature. Hey Siri, make me professional. You can use the auto settings in the app or you can adjust the manual controls. Oh, and if you don't want to get fancy with all this raw stuff, you can use the default camera app as well. Those photos turned out pretty darn well too. Don't worry if that raw image looks a little flat. We'll get to that in the next step. Step four, edit your photo. Since RAW isn't a standard format, you're gonna need a special application with a RAW processor to open it. For the sake of cost, let's go with one of my favorites, Darkroom, which is free, but if you wanna use the fancy filters, it'll cost you a few bucks. First, I crop the image. You lose some resolution, but for most web applications and social, this is fine. Then, I used one of Darkroom's filters. From there, thanks to the power of RAW, I was able to heavily adjust the exposure and bring in some of the highlights. And voila, a studio lit portrait that now won't make you the laughing stock of LinkedIn. This is just a tiny glimpse into the wonderful world of studio lighting. Try it out on your own or with friends, kids, whomever. Send them to me, have fun.